ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 729 ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਸੋਹੀ ਰਾਗ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੋਹੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਘਰ ਛੇਵਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਉਜਲ ਕਹਾ ਚਿਲਕਣਾ ਕੋਟਿਮ ਕਾਲੜੀ ਮਸ ਤੋਤਿਆ ਝੂਠ ਨਾ ਉਤਰੈ ਜੇ ਸੌ ਧੋਵਾ ਤਿਸ ਉਜਲ ਕਹਾ ਚਿਲਕਣਾ ਕੋਟਿਮ ਕਾਲੜੀ ਮਸ ਤੋਤਿਆ ਝੂਠ ਨਾ ਉਤਰੈ ਜੇ ਸੌ ਧੋਵਾ ਤਿਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਆ ਸਿੰਧ ਸੂਹੀ ਰਾਗ ਸੂਹੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਘਰ ਛੇਵਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਇਨਸਟ੍ਰਕਟਿਡ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਬੀ ਸੰਗ ਇਨ ਦਾ 6th ਹਾਊਸ ਆਫ ਰਿਦਮ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਟਰੀ ਇਨਵੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਦਾ ਮੰਗਲਾ ਚਰਨ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ that non dual divine being whose light oankar pervades through all is found through the prasad the grace of the eternal guru sachche padsha maharaj in today's shabad in today's hukumnama is speaking specifically to those of us who are one thing on the outside and another thing on the inside this shabat is connected with sikh history just like many other shabat since sri guru granth sahib ji this shabat has an uthanaka now the word uthanaka can be loosely translated as context and that shabat or that word uthanaka is used when certain shabats were recited by the gurus in certain places or in certain situations now nearly all of us would have heard the story of sajjan the robber or as he's called in punjabi sajjan thag so i won't go into too much detail but this shabat was the shabat which changed sajjan's life bhai gurdas ji describes the scene when guru nanak dev ji would recite gurbani bhai gurdas ji says bani mukho uchari hai hoye roshnai mite andhara when the guru would recite gurbani darkness would go and light would dawn and this was one of those moments sajjan who is trying to trick the guru kill the guru and the guru's associates when guru nanak dev ji maharaj sang this shabad sajjan's life changed now many times when i think of these stories for example the story of sajjan the robber in punjabi we call him sajjan thag sajjan the robber now the question we have to ask ourselves is this sajjan was reformed after listening to just one shabad and we still call him sajjan thag one shabad changed sajjan the sinner into sajjan the saint how many shabads have we listened to how many times do we ignore what the guru is saying in today's shabat in today's hukumnama we should ask ourselves this question and we should beg guru ji o oh guru ji please give us the strength to change just like these words of yours converted sajjan from a sinner into a saint brought light where there was darkness let them bring light into the darkness which is within us Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj begins with an example Maharaj Ji says Ujjal kaha chilkna 
Kaha means bronze. Now, bowls made out of bronze or utensils made out of bronze, they look ujjal, they look pure and they look chilkana. Chilkana means shining. But Guru Nanak Dev Ji warns, Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Kotema Kaladi Mas. When you Kotem, Kotem means when you rub them, what happens? Kaladi Mas. A blackness appears. A darkness appears. When you rub those bronze utensils a darkness comes out of them a blackness even by washing the bronze utensil this impurity this jut cannot be uttara cannot be removed even if you were to wash it so means hundred times guru nanak dev ji maharaj is giving the example to Pai Sajjan. Maharaj is saying, Sajjana, even though the bronze utensils may look nice, but when you rub with them, with your hands, your hands get blackened. Guru Sahib Ji is saying, you may look nice on the outside, but when someone sits with you, they are blackened. You only look shiny, but you do not have that purity within and let us ask ourselves those questions as well those very searching questions which change Sajjan's life maybe they will impact us today then Guru Nanak Dev Ji says Sajjan sayi naal mein chaladeya naal chalan jitha lekha mangiya titha khade disan Maharaj Ji says Sajjan sayi naal mein they alone are my friends Maharaji says Chaldea Naal Chalan those are true friends that when I depart Chaldea when I leave they Naal Chalan they depart with me now Maharaji explains this in the next Talk the next line. Jitha lekha mangiya, where my lekha, my accounts will be mangiya, will be asked for, where my good and bad deeds will be weighed up. Titha kare disan, titha in that place they will be kare, they will be standing there, and I will disan, I will see them. And there are various interpretations of this. What can be your true friend? Virtue, good deeds, they will be there with you when your accounts are being weighed up. What is the friend, the name of God, that will be there with you, saving you? What are the true friends? The saints. Their advice, their words will be there with you when your accounts are being weighed up. Maharaji says, become a true friend. And put your friendship with those who are really true. Rahau, pause and think about this today. Kothe mandap maariya pasuho chitviyaha. Kothe, according to Santhikani Gurbachan Singh Ji's explanation, talks about uh, the small huts or Houses which are made out of unbaked bricks. And mandap here is talking about mansions. So whether it's a small hut or a big mansion, mandap mariya palaces, pasuhu chitviyaha. Pasuhu means on the sides, they may be. Chitviyaha means painted, there may be many decorations on them. Tathiya kamna avani vichoho sakhaniyaha. But if they are empty, Sakhaniyaha means if they are empty inside, then one day what will happen? Tatiya Kamana Avani. They will crumble, Tatiya fall down, Kamana Avani, and they will be useless. Maharaji again is questioning Sajjan and questioning us. 
On the outside, you are decorated, tall and lofty like a building. But inside, there is nothing, there is just darkness. That building where no one lives, it's just dark inside, there's no light. And Guru Sahib Ji is, is, is give, questioning us today, are we like those buildings? Bagga, bagge kapde, tirat manjavasan. Bagga means the crane or the heron. Bagge kapde is dressed in white. The heron or the crane is dressed in white. Tirat manjavasan and may go and live upon sites of holy pilgrimage. Tirat. Kotkot jiya khavane. But what does that heron or that crane do? Kotkote jiya khavane. Rips to part and eats living beings, preys upon the fish within. Even if a heron or a crane is at a place of holy pilgrimage, even at that place, that heron or that crane will just be looking for things to hunt. Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, I will not call them pure on the outside. Now, what does this mean? Like a heron or a crane may be dressed in white feathers, but is always looking to hunt, even at places of pilgrimage. Sajjan had made a mandir, a Hindu temple on one side, a mosque on the other. But he was not looking to serve anyone. Even though he had made his inn into a place of pilgrimage, he was looking to hunt. He was on the lookout for his next prey, his next victim. Now you, you may look religious on the outside, but what are you looking for in life? Are you looking to pray off others? And if we are, then we need to ask ourselves these questions, very searching questions that Guru Nanak Dev Ji asked said then. Majana de Kapulan. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji gives an, another example here of the symbol tree. It's translated as silk cotton tree. But in Punjabi we use the word symbol. In Gurumukhi the word symbol has been used. Now Guru Sahib Ji is explaining to Sajjan by using the first person. A beautiful way of explaining. Maharaji says, My body is like the symbol tree. Now, the symbol tree is known for its height, but its fruits are tasteless. Now, it's big, tall, and it has these big fruit upon it. And what happens? Majan Dek Pulan. Majan here, if you read it together, Majan. That means parrots. Parrots come because they see the fruit of the symbol tree and they think, oh, we'll have something to eat. They don't realize that it's tasteless. And some accounts and some translations, uh, the Gurbani Art Pandar, which is a transliteration of Sant Gurbatan Singh Ji's Katha, it says that the, the parrots actually get their beaks stuck in the fruit of the symbol tree. So they're pulan, they're fooled by this tree. The parrots come, but they end up getting their beaks stuck. Those fruits are useless. These bad qualities are in my body. Now what does this mean? Another way of translating that first line, by the way, is by saying Meh Jan separately. And we'll, we'll go through that now. So, Simbal Rukh Sarir, Meh, my body is like the symbol tree. Meh Jan Dek Pulan. Meh, looking at me, Jan, people are Pulan, are fooled. Just like the symbol tree fools the parrots in the same way, looking at me, people think I'm living on some lofty height. They come to me with hopes and desires. 
But when they taste the fruit of my words and my actions, it is only then that they realize. This is the story of my own body. These bad quality, qualities are within me. Guru Sahib Ji is, is telling us to introspect there. Andula par uthaya dugar vaat bahut. Andula, the blind has par uthaya, has picked up so much weight. Dugar vaat bahut. Dugar vaat means a mountainous, treacherous path. Bahut, very, very far. The person who is blinded by anger, greed and all these types of things has picked up so much weight and put it upon their head. What weight is that? The weight of sins, of bad actions. Do good of art, but the way or the path where this person has to travel is through the mountains and is very, very far. Akki lodi nalaha. I want to see with my eyes, but nalaha, I can't find any path. How can I climb over and cross these mountains? I don't have the eyes of wisdom, the eyes of uh, varag, of longing for God. In the last two lines of the Shabbat, the last two Pankhtiyan, Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Chakriya. Chakriya means to to serve people, serving the world, Chingiya Now, being here, Chingiya doesn't mean just being, uh, it doesn't mean being virtuous, it means just being good on top. Avar Syanapkit and all these Syanapa, all these clever tricks. What, what good is, what good is it? And, just to understand this as well, and Chingyanya especially we need to understand, sometimes we are doing even good things with bad intentions. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj says, these clever tricks you play, they will all be unveiled. None of them will help you spiritually. Nanak in the end, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Sajjan is on his knees by this point, begging for forgiveness. Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Nanak, Naam Samal Tu. Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Meditate upon the, the name of God. Meditate upon Naam. Badda Shutta Hai Jit. That is the method that you can escape this prison. Where you are Buddha, where you are tied down. Nam, the divine name, meditation upon Nam, is what will cut through all of the prisons which enslave you and imprison you. That was the Shabbat of Guru Nanak Sahib that changed a robber into a saint. May Guru Nanak Sahib bless us with their Gurpurkhad. May that Shabbat, may the meanings of the Shabbat reside within our hearts today. Chakriya Chingiya Avar Syan Pakit Nanak Nam Samal Tu Badda Shutta Hajit Vahiguruji Ka Khalsa Vahiguruji Ki Fateh